Many people ask me, how did you get into transportation? Isn't it a male dominated industry? My husband is the founder of our company. He started our company in May of 1995 with a tankar and a dream. I was simply the supportive wife at the time. I had a life in corporate America. We were newlyweds at the time. And, um, you know, he started whispering something in my ear about, you know, this great love and passion that he had for the transportation industry, for being behind the wheel and providing customer service. And so um, off he went and, uh, you know, purchased his first town car, started building his clients. And, um, you know, I just was on the sideline, making sure that I was supporting him in his dream. And a couple of years along the way, we became parents and I fell in love uh, with our daughter, Emily Rose, who is the uh, life of our life. And, um, and honestly, uh, I fell in love with the mom role. And uh, I'm so appreciative for, you know, our business for my husband, Mike, who said, listen, you know, no worries, I got this. And, um, you know, there was no problem with staying home. And, uh, you know, of course, anyone that's a parent understands how quickly our children grow. And, uh, you know, it was time for Emily to go to school. And it was time for me, what I thought at the time, to incorporate myself back into the workforce. And my husband simply said, listen, I, I have this thing that I need to do. I'm going to date myself a little bit here. Uh, but we had a DOS program that, uh, you know, he wanted to, you know, do something more, be more efficient. And there was this thing called Microsoft Windows that was coming out. And so I simply thought I was going to work on a project and uh, execute it, hand it over, and off I went. And uh, life, Mike, had something different for me. And, uh, you know, 15 years later, uh, I'm still working on the project. I've done everything from, you know, a dispatch perspective to a customer service rep to human resources, payroll, sales, you name it. If I fast forward to 2015, I can only describe that year as an epiphany moment in my life where I felt that it was time to really um, diversify even more so uh, where we were in our business. My husband, Mike, felt very comfortable in this space. He was the limo guy of Queens that everyone you know loves and still loves. Uh, but he felt very comfortable where we were. And, um, you know, it took me a little bit of time to, you know, really make him understand what my vision was, where I felt that we can uh, continue to grow and scale our business. And so in 2016, he says to me, you know, Nancy, I, I get it. I see where you're going with this. Um, and I'm, I'm fully on board. Um, you know, I want you to continue this journey uh, that you have started us with. And he said, uh, but I want, I have one request. I want you to become our new uh, CEO and I will take on the role as chief operating officer. And uh, to me, that was just such a huge thing because this is, this is his dream, um, you know, and uh, I, I never thought that that's something that, you know, um, you know, he, he thought of. And uh, of course, I, I happily accepted. And, um, you know, he said, Nancy, I've, I've driven our business uh, to this day, and uh, I want you to be the new driving force of our company. So those were very uh, big shoes to fill, um, and I feel very blessed to have the opportunity to be given, um, you know, this this uh, opportunity to continue to lead our company.